Today I'm going to demonstrate the capabilities of Fortinet Secure SD-WAN 7.6 and how it has evolved and expanded to be a key part of Fortinet's single vendor SASE solution. Creating an SD-WAN overlay is easily done with a simple four-step guided orchestrator. Fortinet Secure SD-WAN supports multiple types of topologies including hub and spoke and full mesh. The best of both worlds is to have full mesh any-to-any -any communications with the scalability of hub and spoke. To do that, simply enable ADVPN in the wizard, and it will use Fortinet proprietary ADVPN technology to create the overlay. ADVPN solves the scalability constraints of traditional full mesh and allows for full mesh connectivity by creating a mesh of FortiGates that utilize dynamic on-demand tunnels. Once completed, the wizard will create the necessary provisioning templates and add them all to a new template group. You can see here that there are auto-generated template groups for our devices. Simply install these configurations into all of our overlay participants and the overlay will be created. Fortinet Secure SD-WAN is transport agnostic and has a flexible and easy to use SD-WAN rules engine. To configure path selection, simply go to our SD-WAN manager where all of our SD-WAN devices are centrally managed. We will now access the Rules section and select our branch SD-WAN template. Here we have our SD-WAN members, both underlay interfaces and overlay SD-WAN tunnel interfaces. In our example, the SD-WAN will have port 1 and port 2 as the underlay links. Port 1 can be MPLS or Internet, and port 2 can be either as well. We also have our performance SLA health checks that utilize both active and passive measurements and can set per application thresholds. These are core elements that make up our SD-WAN rules. Now let's create an SD-WAN rule for Microsoft Teams traffic. Select Source All, User Group Marketing. For Applications, we'll select our custom Teams application group. Next, select the type of strategy. For Teams, we like the SD-WAN to default to port 1 as long as it is meeting performance SLA thresholds. For this, we will use the lowest cost strategy and select port 1 first and then port 2. Next, we will choose a relevant performance SLA health check to determine when to fail over. Similarly, we will create another SD-WAN rule specifically for IT department for an on-prem database application. Select the IT department in our on-prem DB app. We will use lowest cost strategy, but this time select port 2 first and subsequently port 1. This uses port 2 as the default for on-prem database traffic and failover when needed. This is one of many path selection strategies we can use for different applications. Now we will quickly demonstrate failover with Teams. You can see that the session is currently on port 1. We will now add 300 milliseconds of latency to port 1 so that it falls out of SLA. As you can see, the latency has temporarily spiked to over 300 milliseconds. However, it has quickly failed over to port 2, which is the link without impairment. The Teams chat is still ongoing, and it has moved to port 2. The solution can optimize application performance over an internet connection with adaptive forward error correction and packet duplication. For this demo, we will use adaptive FEC. It will adjust the ratio parity bits based on the level of packet loss. Here we see the FEC parameters for the tunnel as well as FEC enabled in policy for only Ubuntu traffic. Now we introduce 10% packet loss on our WAN emulator. We now download a Linux image from both Ubuntu and OpenSUSE. The Ubuntu download is significantly faster due to the FEC. Forte AI uses 30 plus common languages to cut through complexity and boost operational efficiency. Here, we'll demonstrate the capabilities of Forte AI Advisor, which is built into Forte Manager and Forte Analyzer. For day zero, we will now ask the advisor to generate a VPN config based on a network topology image. Here you can see that it has generated a configuration reflecting our desired topology. You can see that we have the option to save these configuration scripts with the click of a button after it has been generated by the advisor.
For day one, we can ask the advisor using the voice of text feature to create a policy to allow YouTube during office hours. Please create a policy which allows YouTube traffic from the hours of 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. from LAN to WAN 1. And just like that, the AI advisor has generated a policy script which we can push to our sites. For day two operations, we can use the VPN advisor to help troubleshoot tunnels that are down. Here we've noticed an SD-WAN tunnel being down, causing a breach in SLA. We will now query the AI advisor and to try and bring the tunnel back up. It will do things such as compare the configuration between tunnels. We could see that it has determined the root cause of the issue and made a suggestion on how to fix it. From there, the advisor has initiated a device config change for us to push to branch one. We will now push this config change to branch one. After that's done, we will now use the AI advisor to confirm the status of our SD-WAN tunnels. As you can see, the suggested fix has brought the tunnel back up and back within SLA. There's also an IoT advisor to help detect and troubleshoot IoT vulnerabilities, which we will demonstrate in a future video. Fortin Manager is a single pane of glass management console which can manage and orchestrate the entire infrastructure of SD-WAN, access points, switches, cellular, and security. We've already demonstrated the SD-WAN Manager earlier in the demo. For central management of enterprise wireless networks, the AP Manager provides enterprise-ready wireless LAN management. It uses various AP and SSID profiles to orchestrate large-scale campus and branch wireless LAN deployments. Here in Switch Manager, there is an intuitive graphical representation of our switching infrastructure. From here, we can drill down to port-level details as well as configure, upgrade, and troubleshoot. We can also centrally manage VLANs, switch profiles, and create dynamic port policies. One of the major strengths of the solution is how easy it is to configure on-premises security functions. Here we can see the policy and objects section, where layer 3 to 7 policy packages can be created and pushed down to the FortiGates. These define all NGFW capabilities that are needed in a customer's network. Enabling advanced security functions is as easy as checking a box in a given policy. Here, we are enabling IPS, antivirus, content filtering, and deep SSL inspection. Simply select the right security profile for any given feature. For segmentation, the solution has native ZTNA, both from within the SD-WAN overlay as well as remote users. Each SD-WAN device can act as a ZTNA application gateway. Further, you can utilize IP or MAC address access control based on security posture tags. For security analytics, the solution provides a wealth of information to aid organizations in stopping threats, detecting compromised hosts, and evaluating security posture. Here we have many real-time SOC dashboards, such as ones for top threats, IOCs, sandbox detections, and the threat map. For security posture check and compliance, there is the security ratings feature. The event monitor allows for streamlined instant creation and management even able to execute playbooks for automated response capabilities. There's also threat hunting and MITRE attack framework coverage. The solution extends way beyond the scope of typical secure SD-WAN. The solution includes detailed analytics for both security and networking. On the networking front, there are maps that show an at-a-glance overlay view of the SD-WAN, which shows the overall health of the network. 
Drilling down further, the SD-WAN monitor displays the status and health of the SD-WAN members. Here you can see the bandwidth consumption and network health of our different links obtained from our performance SLA health checks. For applications, there are detailed graphs representing the selected SD-WAN paths, how much bandwidth each application consumes, as well as how applications are performing. When the network or applications where the performance is lower than expected, the SD-WAN will automatically find a link that will satisfy performance requirements. At the same time, there are event handlers that will notify the administrators of this. Here we have greatly increased latency on one of our links, and as you can see, a better path has been chosen and alerts have been generated. Fortum Monitor SD-WAN monitoring provides DEM insights across active SD-WAN members, surfacing user-level metrics on application reachability. Admins can specify applications to be monitored. Here we gain insights for Teams application performance with regards to MOS score, RTT, time to first and last byte, as well as packet loss, delay, and jitter. Fortum Monitor also measures paths from our SD-WAN devices to the application and provides a detailed breakdown of each hop. Finally, SD-WAN devices integrate with Fortum Monitor to provide detailed analytics on device and port level health, synthetic app measurements, as well as SD-WAN member health. If you found this demo useful, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.